can look no further than the commissioner himself for inspiration. When Tagliabue took over in 1989, he was a relative unknown, replacing a legend in Pete Rozelle. As you know, he's managed to make the league more popular and profitable than ever before. There's a group of guys that certainly have enjoyed the NFL over the years. Hootie and the Blowfish, they may best be known in the sports world for singing about their beloved Dolphins. You know, the only want to be with you video starring everyone from Dan Marino to Dan Patrick, if memory serves. Over the years, that love of sports hasn't lessened, and they've found ways to combine watching, playing, and performing, like hosting the 12th annual Monday after the Masters Golf Tournament and performing on opening day before the Dodgers game. With more on it all, we are joined by lead singer Darius Rucker and guitarist Dean Felber. Darius, I'm going to start with you. We know you've actually played golf with Tiger Woods, so what tips did you pick up from him? <laughs> oh, it's funny. When you play with Tiger, he doesn't really give you tips till the end because he wants to beat you so bad. <laughs> so, like, every, every time we play, all the time when we play, that's what he does. Like, then he goes, well, you know you're doing this. Like, you couldn't tell me that on number two? <laughs> you know, but he waits till the end. <laughs> I love that. It's that competitive nature that's always in him. It's the reason that he won the Masters last year. And you guys are hosting the 12th annual Monday after the Masters Pro-Am. Uh, Dean, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, well, it's, it's our 11th year, I believe, and it's well, 12th year. Yeah. Wow, God, it's <laughs> getting older than me. But uh, it's, uh, it's in North Myrtle Beach at uh, Barefoot Landing Resorts, and it's, it's just been an excellent tool for us to uh, get together and have fun and uh, have some you know, PGA golfers and celebrities come out and at the same time raise a lot of money for uh, children of South Carolina, you know, specifically musical programs in South Carolina and, and education. It's a great cause. Dean, did you see, we just saw Darius's swing there. Is, is, is it good? Have you seen his swing before? Is he a good golfer? Oh, I saw it yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I saw it repeatedly <laughs> yesterday. And I saw, I saw his putting stroke a lot more than I normally do yesterday, too. So. Yeah, but that's okay. Missing a few putts, were you, Darius? Oh, yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, I, you know, putting's not my forte. <laughs> okay. It's just a small part of the game. Yeah, it's a minor little thing. It's an inconvenience, really. Yeah. Uh, one of the guys exactly. who's, who's going to be at the event is Dan Marino. You, I said you're Dolphins fans. People know you from that. What's the addition of Dante Culpepper mean to you? Oh, it means the Super Bowl. You know, <laughs> it's been 30 years since, since I've celebrated after, really celebrated after the Super Bowl. So, I, you know, I, in, in, today's, in today's NFL, you know, that Paul Tagliabue built such a great... NFL, him and Pete Rozelle, and, and, and you know, it's just, with the parody, I think we got the missing link to, to actually make a run at it. I gotta make a correction, too. Uh, Darius is the only Dolphins fan. Uh, yeah, the rest like of us are Red. actually Redskins fans. Oh, w wow. Well, see, now, you guys are gonna have a lot of trash talking going on then this year, because the Redskins arguably made some of the best moves in the offseason, and, and people just don't know what's gonna happen now with Dante Culpepper. Has it started already, the trash talk? Oh, yeah, it, it started. We were talking about it before, you know, the, the Redskins made, they always make, Snyder always makes a lot of moves, though, you know, they, they, they got to play together. Dean, defend that, come I'm on. Sure you guys. <laughs> come on. I don't made... have to defend it, because his team hasn't done anything yet. I mean, we, we, you know, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for the Dolphins. The greatest like, day to get in the world the would be a Redskins Dolphins Super Bowl. <laughs> that would be the only day that we could not be together. That would be the only day. Well, and you guys would have to perform beforehand, obviously. Oh, that would have to happen. We'd have to be at that one. <laughs> yeah, but Darius would be on the other side of the field, and we'd be playing on the other side. So. <laughs> <laughs> far away from each other. Well, there's one thing. Uh, I know you guys both attended South Carolina, and I believe they yeah. told you before we started this segment that I attended Michigan. So I, I want to know where you guys are. Oh. Where's that? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, the first of all, first of all we, lost to, we, we lost to Florida in the, in the SEC championship game because we wanted to defend our title. <laughs> so here we are, the championship game again. And I... Michigan's a great program, you know, Dana, you're, you're great, but no sh you guys got no shot. It's all Gamecocks all the time. You know, the one thing I will say, at least it's the last two NIT champs, but you know what, Michigan, you know, we're so used to being in the other tournament that there's just not as much excitement for us. Well, that, that's why you're going to get whooped. We got to take what we can get. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We'll take anything so we can you, get right now, to too. Us, huh? We'll take anything we can get, too. Uh, you, are you guys going to be able to watch tonight, check out the game? It's funny, last year we had one gig in the whole month and it was on the day of the finals at NIT and tonight we have to play in Cincinnati, oh. the, the, the finals at NIT. Well, that and the last time, uh, last time Gamecocks were in NCAA, I think we were in China. Yeah. <laughs> and we stayed up till <laughs> 6 in the morning to watch it. We'll, have a t we'll definitely have a TV on stage <laughs> watching the game if we have to play when it's on now, that's for sure. You guys are going to have to get your ESPN mobile phones and then you can just, in between sets, just flip it open and get the score. In between songs. Yeah. Not sets, in between songs. Yeah, in between songs, exactly. that's true. Guys, thank you. Uh, in, enjoy the gig tonight, and uh, it was good talking with you, and I'm sorry, but go blue. 
No, oh, that's uh, okay, Dana. Don't be sad tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> when we beat you, I'm going to make sure you guys come and play for us here. That's, that's going to be the best. Oh, uh, <laughs> when, when you lose, we're going to make sure you do something. We don't oh, yeah. know what yet, <laughs> but it's going to be something fun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure I'll come to the golf tournament. How's that? There you go. That's a deal. All That's right. a deal. It's That's a deal. Bet. All right, guys, thank you okay. again. And fans in Los hey, Angeles are going to have a chance actually to see Hootie and the Blowfish. I mentioned they're going to be performing. Uh, it's a 30-minute set at Dodger Stadium before their opening day game against the Reds. Right now, it's third down. Jay, Woody, and Skip, guys. Dana, let me get this right. If you lose the bet, you have to go to the golf tournament? Yeah, I think because I was thinking <laughs> there's nothing that they're going to want me to do that's going to be bad. But And not that coming here. I mean, either way, we both win because then right. they can come here and perform one day for us in the garage there. I thought maybe if you lose, you go on stage and sing a song. That would be a winning combination for fans and Hootie and the Blowfish alike. All right. <laughs> we got, we got work to do. Yeah, that. Woody's very angry. He hasn't been able to talk in about 10 minutes. <laughs> Hootie and the Bullhard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Which one's Topic the number one. <laughs> Topic number one and third down. Uh, this is actually going to the NFL replay rule. They, they